energy talk. Maxed out. Maxed out. I'd be like, damn, I'm really living like that. Feeling every moment of my energy matched like damn. Supercharged, I'm matched. Living like this kid sack. Going up, never backtrack. Damn. Boom, yo. So that's what we're getting here. We're doing whatever I want, whatever I want to create. That's what this YouTube channel is. That's what I love doing. So let's just jump right into it. We're going to talk about everything. Ask any questions you want from dunk training to quantum traveling. Let's go. So look, I want to start with my story. I haven't talked about my story in a long time, and it leads into the biggest mistake I see lately with training. I want to talk about my current training goals and current training PRs. I want to talk about everything. So let's just talk about it. Let's have some energy talk. By the end of this episode, I just hope that you feel good. You just feel good. And that's what we're doing. We're sharing in the energy. We tap in to tune tune in with each other, learn from each other, keep growing, keep the energy moving, and just chase our dreams and be courageous. We're going. And I know I've been wanting to make dunk vlogs. I know you guys want to see that, but I have all these ideas. So let's just make something consistent where I'm going to post this raw energy talk. Fill that subscribe button with energy. Mm, Zap it. Okay. So my quick story of how I started dunking, I get this question so many times, and this is where you can use this for any part of your life. So when I started dunking, the biggest thing I want you to know is it wasn't possible. It wasn't even a possibility. It wasn't like, I wonder if I can do this. It was just a dream, a dream in the sense of I would dunk on low rims and a dream in the sense where it's like, that's not possible in this reality. I can't emphasize that enough. It wasn't 1%, it was 0%. Then one day I said to myself, what if I can touch the rim? Hence my latest video, what if? So that's, if you've seen that what if video, if you see it in my recent videos, that's the type of production I want to do as well. Full, high quality, next level, cinematic. But I also want to do raw energy talks. So let's just keep it going. So in that moment, I said to myself, what if I could touch the rim? And I did, and I said, what if I could hang on the rim? Hanging on the rim was a dream in itself. I was 5'10", I was 18 years old, and I'm like, let me see if I can do it. Hung on the rim, and then I'm like, okay, now I know it's possible to go dunk. I also saw Andy Nicholson dunking from touching the rim the dunking, and I got my first dunk. Now, the thing is with that was such a huge paradigm shift in my perspective of reality, because not only did I achieve something that was like, I think this is possible. I can achieve it. I achieved something that wasn't even in that realm of is this possible. It was before that. So now any other thing I thought about was if I think to myself, I don't think that's possible. I have this new experience of I didn't think this was possible. So now I believe anything's possible because I made one thing that was not possible possible. So that's where we're at. So the point is, the biggest mistake I see with so many people dunk training, first of all, they hit these plateaus, and I want to get into that, but they don't start. And the biggest thing for me with that is I didn't start knowing I could dunk. I started with the question of what if it's possible, and then when I started touching the rim, grabbing the rim, my possibility, my belief grew. So wherever your dream lies, start walking towards it without believing in it. So a lot of times we say we have to believe it, but just think of whatever you want and think to yourself, what if I even believed in it? Start walking towards it. So I want this episode to help you take that first step. And that's what I do. So if you want to work with me, I will help you take that first step. And it starts with, which is a big part of what I want to talk about today. So that's my quick story. Let me get back to my story and I'll talk about what I've learned from the 10 years of experience of training. So back to my story, I got my first dunk thought anything was possible, and I just kept going from there, and I'm still going. I'm in the best shape of my life. I just lifted 405 pounds on the deadlift with decent form, and I'm proud of myself, and it was a goal that just felt effortless, and I don't want to talk about training right now, so I'm going to go with where my energy is. That's how energy talk goes, okay? We go with the energy. That's what I want you to do today. Find your flow and go with it, because if you can go with the flow of your energy, you're doing the best thing you could do for yourself, your soul, your body, your mind, your spirit. Let's go. Woo! Energy foundations. So the biggest mistake I see is people not building a foundation of energy. And the three are sleeping right, eating right, and training right. Obviously, we want to train right. We all want to train and push hard. But are you learning your body? Are you listening to your body? Are you understanding what you're doing to your body to get it to respond? And that is body awareness. And that's what I've learned. And that's why my training is very intuitive. So if you ever watch my Instagram, you try to follow along. That's why I haven't made the dunk vlogs because I don't want to just show you what I do because I don't want you guys to try to do what I do. I want you to learn what you need to do what's best for you. And so that's starts with the healthy energy foundations. And the way I put it is, 
If you don't have these foundations, that's why we hit these plateaus. Because plateaus, if you really break it down, are just not allowing our bodies or not stimulating our bodies to change anymore. Our bodies are almost getting too good at what we're doing. So and early on, we're trying something new. We're pushing ourselves a little harder, but and then we make progress because our body's adapting, but then we stop or we don't know how to get our bodies to adapt to this next level. And where that comes in is that belief because you're going, and then we stop because it's like you're going towards your dream and you lose sight of it and you don't know how to navigate that. So you're stuck at that point because you don't know which road to take right? But if you just keep taking steps forwards, you will make progress past that plateau. Now, if you have that solid foundation behind you of the sleeping right, eating right, and moving right, now you have this foundation that eliminates all these variables. Because if you're not pushing past the limit, do you have enough energy? Are you recovering good enough? Are you pushing yourself hard enough and pushing yourself hard enough, a lot of fear and mental blocks come into play. So you have to have the energy to push yourself, but you also have the ability to understand those fears to see if you're holding yourself back. But a big one is like, if you want to push yourself at a high level, you have to have high energy to push yourself past that level. Dunking takes max energy. So you got to push past that level. So energy foundations are huge. So start with sleeping right. And I'm going to go off on the sleeping right and habits because this is what I really want you guys to take away from what I've learned from my own story is that everything starts off really hard, but if you build these habits, they become routine. And when they become routine, they take less energy to do more energetic things. So what I mean by that is if you look at my day right now, if I go to sleep at 9 p.m., I wake up and I intermittent fast, I don't eat. And then I have nutrition and it's like salad for lunch. And then I'm eating like counting my calories and I'm shredded out of my mind, right? And then I do it again and then I train perfectly and I train intuitively and then I'm, I'm flying and then sometimes I'm resting and and I don't go out because I'm training so hard and I don't do any of, it looks like I'm super disciplined is the point. It looks like I'm living this restricted life. But what I did was have enough discipline for these habits that help me fuel my life that I love. I have enough discipline for that to turn into a routine, which means it becomes subconscious. I don't have to think about going to sleep at 9 p.m. because I'm exhausted. See what I'm saying? So it fuels my life. My habits now become to fuel my life. They are my foundation. So on the surface, as somebody that has no foundation or none of these habits, it looks like I'm super disciplined and I'm working so hard all the time. But what I'm telling you, if you start super small and you take those first steps, those habits become effortless. And those habits turn into a routine. So for example, if you sleep every night at 9 p.m. and you get that routine, that's a hard one. I'm telling you, that's really hard to do. But if you wake up early and you plan your night and you overcome these things and you journal your thoughts and you help your mind unwind, which is what I do with my coaching and with my mindfulness practices, but once that becomes your routine, now going to sleep at 9 p.m. is something you love to do because when you wake up with full energy and you're creative and your brain is sharp and you have energy to train and you're training better and then when you train better, you're making that progress and you have these breakthroughs, the going to sleep at 9 p.m. is your favorite thing to do. It's not like what it is now where it might be something that seems impossible, right? So all these healthy habits that seem so disconnected because they're so far down the line, it starts with the first step and the first step is the healthy foundations, which is sleeping right, eating right, and moving right. My phone disconnected, so I wasn't sure if it started doing Oh, energy talk. That's how we get back in the flow. Okay. Whew. So that is the first step. That's a little bit about my story. Ask me any questions you want. My All my stories on YouTube. I have so many videos, but let's just keep the energy moving of what we're doing right now today. Tomorrow's Earth Day. I love Earth Day. We're going to celebrate Earth. We're going to celebrate living on life. We are all on this planet. So whatever you're thinking is not possible, remember we're on a floating rock that's hurling through space why, right? So if that's happening and you really connect to that, enjoy your life, go for things, try things. I guarantee you, when my, like the what if video, if you take that first step and you t make progress down the path, now as you make progress down the path, you will start to see the obstacles more clearly and navigate them. But if you're looking down a huge path and you have no idea how you're gonna get there, you don't even take the first step. But take the first step and then the belief will start to grow. 
Okay, another thing I want to talk about is creating your own art because a big part of my life is expressing myself, as you can tell, and I want to help you guys create content. So whether it's dunking as a physical expression or creating digital content like this video is tapping into yourself. So this play, everything's intertwined, everything's connected, everything's one song, baby. So if you notice these things about creating art, it's going to help you create your physical. So when you're creating your best art, you want to create what's true to you and what makes you excited. Make the video you want to see. Make the music you want to hear. Uh, write the words you want to read. All these different things are going to bring your unique art to whatever you're making because you're a combination of all your inspirations. And when I say inspirations, I think it's a fantastic practice to find somebody you like, photographer, videographer, dunker, and try to emulate what they do that you love because in the attempt to emulate what doing what they love, you're going to learn how to get there. So photography is a fa for, fantastic example for me because I would see this picture of like the street and I would try to take a similar picture. I couldn't do it. It wouldn't look anything like it. But then by me trying to emulate that photo, two things happened. One, the fear that I was just being a fraud because I'm just, I have no style of my own. I'm just trying to be this other person that was illuminated. And I overcame that because I understood that I'm not going to ever make it just like that person and I'm trying to make it like that person and that photo I loved and all these different types of photography is going to make my own unique type of photography. And number two is in the attempt of doing it, trying to emulate it, I have something to shoot for. So instead of not doing it, I'm trying to take the photo, try different angles, compare and contrast and I'm learning. So just like training, if you're trying to dunk a certain way, if you're trying to jump higher, notice your technique, notice what you're doing, notice who you want to dunk like and why because that Excitement is going to lead you down the right path because it's pure joy. And at the end of the day, if you're following that joy, that's going to be unique to you. Because, for example, I like dunking, I like photos, I like videos, I like talking. So that's going to make the most unique content possible. And then when I put my, what I like is my style, my colors, my music, all those combined are going to make the most unique piece of art. So that's where it comes back to training is that's why I don't give you just go do 10 squats because your body is so unique to you that I want you to start learning all the unique qualities of yourself. Are you able to push yourself? Like, for example, if I say go make a video, you might be terrified of talking to the camera where I can do it in, in infinitely, right? But when it comes to training, are you effortlessly pushing yourself to the nth degree and you need to actually allow yourself to rest more and be more patient and live out of courage and be courageous to, I'm going to talk about courage in a second, or are you acting out of fear that you're not making enough progress and anxiety that you, you're going to lose progress if you don't work too fast? Or are you on your ass and you need some a kick in the ass to to push yourself and you need to push past that limit. That's for you to figure out and we can work together on that. I help illuminate those thoughts, but that's way different than saying go do 10 squats because those two people have such a different universe of their own experience together. So with that being said, I'm going to use the Power Verse Force book from David Hawkins and this is part of what I wanted to talk about. My recommendations. Courage is the shift from you changing your entire reality because under courage is fear, doubt, anxiety, anything like that is going to keep you stuck. So if we think of courage, it's going to help us illuminate the distinction between do we need to push harder or do we actually need to rest more? And for me, I need to rest more. And the reason I was able to help myself do that is because I have plenty of courage to push myself to the limit, even when I'm not feeling it. But it's actually more courageous to rest because I am trusting that I've done the work and I'm trusting that my body needs to rest and I'm trusting that um, one day of rest, two days of rest, I'm not going to lose progress. And if I look at it from the flip side, I can see that it would be fear, not courage by pushing myself to the limit. Cause you could say to yourself, you need to push past these limits when I'm feeling tired, feeling down. Do I need to push past these limits? But the reason I would be pushing is because of a fear and anxiety that I'm not doing enough. It was out of a fear and anxiety that I'm not making enough progress or I'm going to lose progress by not working today. But if I think of what's the most courageous thing I can do, that's going to help me get clearer on the workout I need to do today. So I hope that helps you. So that's the energy talk for today. I would love your feedback. I have more on my podcast every Monday celebrations. That is all about celebrating the day. And that's what I want to bring to YouTube. And I have way more content for YouTube. I want to do vlogs. I want to do comedy. I want to do those high level motivational next level cinematic trailers. So 
Fill me with energy. Hit that comment button. What slash clap the energy cycles? Buzz all the buttons. Hit me up if you want to go nuts, baby. And I want you to live a fantastic life. That's the end of the day. Is I want you to live fantastic. I don't want you to just live baseline. Baseline is the healthy foundations. Once we're healthy, we can find what we do best. So if you're having confusion, if you're lost, if you're stuck, if you're hitting plateaus, go back to the basics. Build that solid foundation of health. And anything is possible when you start from there because now you eliminate variables, but you also have something to build upon that gives you the freedom to think clearly, be creative, and find your genius. God, I love energy talk. Energy talk, baby. Coming to you every day or maybe not or every other week. Let's go. I be like, damn, I'm really living like that Feeling every moment got my energy matched like that